given the identity, prove the identity. Okay, so the first question, the thing we need to do is prove. Okay, so this one looks quite interesting. So we've got cos. Well, let's actually just choose a side that we're going to work on. I think we can start working on this side of here. Okay, so cos. Uh, so we should say left hand side. And so we have cos x plus y, cos x minus y. So immediately I'm thinking of our compound angles. These ones over here. So we've got a cos x plus y, so that's the same as this one. So I'm going to expand it, so that's going to become cos x cos y minus sin x sin y. Okay, put a bracket. And then we've got this one, which is this one over here. So we're going to expand that as cos x cos y and then it becomes a plus sin x sin y. Now what we're going to do is we can multiply all of this together. So we're going to multiply this term and this term together. So that'll become cos squared x cos squared y. Then we're going to multiply those parts together and then you'd multiply those parts together. And what you'll find is that this part and then this part, the one will be a plus and the one will be a minus. And so those parts will actually cancel out. And then lastly, we will be left with this last part. So that'll become minus sin squared x, sin squared y. What I would then do is I'd look at my, um, I would look at this part of here and I'd realize that there's only sin. So I need to get rid of these two. The way that I'll do that is by using a grade 11 identity, which is sin squared x plus cos squared x equals to one. And if I get cos squared x by itself, it'll give me one minus sin squared x. So I'm gonna replace this one and this one. So this will be one minus sin squared x. This one will be one minus sin squared y. And then we've got this and this. What I'll do now is just multiply these two brackets together. And so that'll become one minus sin squared y minus sin squared x. And then when you multiply these two together, it becomes plus sin squared x sin squared y. And then we still have this part here, which is minus sin squared x sin squared y. So these parts here cancel. And then we are left with 1 minus sin squared y minus sin squared x, which is what we have here. And so we can then say, therefore, left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. Okay, so we've done that. Then it says, hence, determine the value of this. Okay, so can you see that this copies that? All that they're saying there is that x is 45 and y is 15. Can you see that then they're the same? So the way that these hence questions work is that you're going to use the previous information. So what I'm going to do is you see how we saw that this is the same as that. But we know now that this is equal to that. So we're actually going to use this one. So we're going to use cos x plus y, cos x minus y. And so x is 45 and y is 15. That then becomes cos 60 and cos 30. So we know that these are special angles. So we've got our special triangles. I'm only going to do the 30, 61, 30, 60. 1, 2, square root 3. And so now we can go work out the cos of 60. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse, that's a half. And then the cos of 30, adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be the square root 3 over 2. 
And that's going to give us square root 3 over 4.